talk to you since we moved. Yeah, I mean, it went, it went very good. I mean, I've been still working both guard and tackle, going from transitioning from camp now to game week. And then a lot of guys have been doing that, like Mr. Young's also been doing that, so. Yeah, I saw you was in the group of so you must be playing that Yeah, again. he's back. Yeah. Do you, where, uh, do you have an idea where you're going to be on Saturday, or you're just not going to tell us? Do you have both, or both? Or do uh -huh. you not know? It's all what Coach Barnett and Coach Ferris decide. I mean, they're going to put us in a position to succeed, and we got to have the most trust in them. So. How physical of a camp was this? I'd say it's... It was a lot more physical than I'd say last year. I mean, it's more of the O-line kind of finding their identity as like hitters and stuff like that and having that transition over to the field, which made the practices a lot more physical. Do you feel like you guys are flying under the radar at all? I'm not, I don't think any of us are really concerned about like our stance and like rankings and stuff like that. Like every day we come out with a focus on us and improving what we need to improve in order put the team in the best place to succeed. Chip Pounder, backing up a little bit, uh, what convinced you to leave Kennedy a semester early and come down here? You, one day you're going to high school class and two weeks later you're in college. I think the biggest thing for me was I just, like there was nothing left for me to do in high school. Like I wasn't a big track guy or anything like that. It wasn't like I was a star on the basketball court. So I was like, it was time. Like I had all my classes I needed to get done done. So there's like there was really no point for me for like waiting and just sitting around when I could be down here getting a head start. So. And what was that like? First day you walked into a college class, first time you went to the weight room, all that stuff. What? Well, when I first got here, my classes were all online. We we're still dealing with all the COVID stuff, but it was definitely a big, big change coming in. You know, like everyone comes in, they're like the big man from their high school, and now I'm going up against grown men and I just turned 18. You know, so. so it seems like your decision turned out okay so far. Yeah, it's been a work in progress. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. How, how, uh, how big a, have you gotten that you came here? A little under 300. Are you up to? Yeah, so when I, when I first got here, they had me lose about 10 pounds. Oh, so really? I was down to 290. And I think last season I played around like 295, 296. And now we're around like 315, 316. Wow. What's been your biggest challenge so far with coming here? I guess just adjusting like to the speed, like that was the biggest thing for me all of my first year here was just getting used to how fast things were and how fast like everything's coming at you. You just gotta have your head on a swivel. Do you feel like you've come very far? I'd say yeah. I mean, you can see that translate with a bunch of the guys in my grade. The uh, stuff's kind of starting to slow down for us, and we're starting to get a grasp on what's going on out there. Are you kind of speaking more in the old line? I mean, you yeah. guys have a lot of sophomores yeah. uh, up there. Uh, what has been the uh, learning curve been like this year? You feel like you're way further ahead than you were maybe at the Citrus Bowl? I'd say from the Citrus Bowl till now, we've just been focusing on our fundamentals mm -hmm. and just building that base up as best as we can. And then seeing that carry over, like our drills carry over to like our team situations and stuff like that has definitely been a good thing to see. Did you see what Nebraska's offensive line coach said about how often his players threw up during practice? No, I didn't know anything about that. Well, it made a, a bit of a wave. Uh, how much did you guys throw up in fall camp? Shoot. Oh, not too much. Like, it wasn't an everyday type of thing for us. So.